Woohoo! Yeah, oh my goodness! Hey, this is Lon with Single Track Skills. Uh, the purpose of the video is to demonstrate that the skills that I teach work even on a hard tail. I'm approaching 55 and I wanted to do this project before I got any older because the hard tail is not very nice to my back and my knees and everything else. So I got it done. Hope you enjoy and hope it's helpful. we would do differently on a hardtail as, as opposed to a full suspension bike. One of the things I've noticed right off is that a hardtail, since it doesn't have any give in the back, um, it has a tendency to feel like it's wanting to buck you a lot. So I've already had to make some adjustments on it. It's almost sent me over the handlebars a couple times because my brain is used to that rear suspension. So probably the first thing is give yourself some time if you're gonna ride a hardtail to get your brain adjusted to what it feels like that rear wheel is hanging up. It's almost the same feeling if you short a jump and you kind of case it, your rear wheel case it has that same kind of feeling. So uh, technique and skill uh, will actually prevail uh, over um, the, uh, the suspension, the rear suspension of the bike. Um, I brought my buddy Javier on this, on these filming. Uh, he, he's hurt, helped me a lot over the years. We've kind of helped each other with our skills and um, he's going to demo some of the harder lines that I'm not able to get. Um, but we're, we're trying to use the same type of skills, so let's get it done. Um, this is a Paradox. It's the model, and it's made by Banshee. It is an aluminum hardtail. And um, I really like it. I wanted to go with titanium, but titanium is literally like three times the price of uh, the aluminum. And Banshee makes, I think, the best aluminum out there. It's the 7000 series, whatever that means. I'm not an engineer, but um, they've also, most companies are only using the 6000 series, which I don't think is quite as good. And um, the way that they've engineered this, um, one of the guys who's on YouTube, uh, Hardtail Party, he actually has a review uh, between this and another brand's titanium, and he said it's just almost like splitting hair. hair. So it, this is obviously not a cross-country bike, um, but it's as close to a cross-country bike as I can ride without tearing it up. Because if I brought a pure cross-country bike to this feature that Javier just rode, uh, we, we would end up tearing up. It'd have a smaller fork. It's just not made. The geometry's not quite made for this kind of stuff. So if you're going to go the hardtail route, I would definitely get this or something similar to this if you're wanting to ride hard hard features if you're not wanting to ride hard features and just easy features all the time then you you know you, you can choose another type of hardtail somewhere there aren't a lot of difficult features a hardtail would be a great thing to to get to keep things interesting um it, it, if you live in an area where there are harder and harder features and you're getting older and older hardtail is probably not the best thing to get So another thing that Javier and I just learned about riding a hardtail is on this line that I just did coming up here down into that ravine and over that rock, I was riding it like I normally do with a lot more speed coming into it to make it up this off camber. I must have tried it five times and I didn't make it because I was bouncing all over the place and I didn't have traction. So he had a keen eye and what he recommended is that I swing a little bit wider, come in a little slower and then just put a little bit of a pedal stroke in in right coming up instead of coasting in at high speed and i eventually made it i think i tried it twice and the second time i made it so the takeaway from that experience in terms of riding a hardtail sometimes you're going to have to go a little slower because since there's no rear suspension it's bouncing you around a lot more and losing traction so you have to slow it down a little bit more precise and controlled with putting power down those of you who have had me in clinics before have heard me say um, that flat pedals are safer and uh, clipless pedals are faster. 
But I think on the, uh, I think on a hardtail like this, the uh, clipless may actually be safer and faster because no matter how active your feet are on the hardtail, a lot of times I would end up losing a pedal here and there just because I can't keep my, my uh, feet, you know, super active like I need to. So that's, that's one difference between a full suspension and a hardtail. I uh, also didn't mention that I have a, um, a 130 millimeter travel fork on that bike. So some may find that interesting. Uh, it's a Cane Creek helm, so it's really well built. And the frame itself, the Banshee frame is really well built. Uh, you can tell it's, it's, it's a boss for sure. In closing, I've got a video of me riding down Blood Rock, which is a very popular section of trail at my home trail system. And I'm demoing it on the hardtail for one of my classes. I uh, also have some steel photo shots of me riding up it on the hardtail. I was able to conquer riding up all of Blood Rock except for one short section, which is the hardest section on that feature. Um, it, it is more difficult to ride up something like that on a hardtail because the uh, travel in a full suspension bike actually helps you with the, with the traction in the rear. Now, what I've found is the more travel you have in the rear, the harder it is. But uh, a sweet spot is like uh, 115 millimeter travel. Uh, my Banshee uh, bike with the 115 millimeter travel is perfect for climbing up Blood Rock. My larger travel bike with 160 in the rear is more difficult. Um, so anyway, I'll, I'll end it with um, some still shots of me climbing up it. I also want to give a shout out to my buddy, uh, David, Passmore, David Passmore with uh, Dirt Life Designs. He's a great photographer. If you want to get some good shots um, of writing some features, he's, he's your man. And I also want to shout out to Bike Link. Uh, bike link of Hoover and they there are a, are a local bike shop where you can buy any of the Banshee uh, frames uh, and any of the components that I mentioned um, I love the company it's a great company and uh, well all three of the companies Banshee bike link and dirt life design so yeah hopefully this has been helpful and give me a give me a shout out in the comments and let me know what you think correction it's actually Dirt Life Media Designs on Instagram is where you can catch David Passmore, not Dirt Life Designs. My bad.